Hello and welcome to a short video on how to interface these little screens here. They're, they are based on the ST7735 LCD display chip and as this one here is 128 by 128 pixels and we've got one here which is 128 by 160 pixels. They, um, When you actually buy these they have um, a sort of mysterious pin set which there isn't much information about but as we um, they just need a little bit about translating to what you can get on say like Adafruit or whatever but once we got them wired up like this I'm using a female to female type um, breadboard wiring which I can plug straight onto the GPIO. So what I'm going to do now is just show you on the screen how these two are wired and if you've got one of these screens or you want to purchase one of them, you can just plug them in and as they're going to come up on the screen now. As they're coming up on the screen, I'll be plugging this little one in and we'll get it up and running with just a few lines of code and a, and a driver install. It literally just takes a few minutes. So here we have the wired up um, Raspberry Pi with the screen. It literally just took a, took a couple of minutes to get these, these wires in. They're in um, a, a four by two array and you can actually put a, a bit of um, insulating type around them to keep together. But just to make sure that, you know, I, I did have, have the Raspberry Pi turned off. Uh, you never should connect anything when it turns when it's turned on. But when it starts up, you should get a nice white screen showing it's powered, but nothing operating as yet. So what I'm going to do now is put this down. As I put it down, I'm going to show you how to load the driver and to run an example. So now we've set up a little screen down at the bottom there, which is running from a Raspberry Pi 4. I'm now going to install the drivers and we're going to run an example. It will just take a couple of minutes to do that. So we want to, first of all, though, enable the SPI interface. Click on the Raspberry Pi icon, go to Preferences, and then down to Raspberry Pi Configuration. That will open the Raspberry Pi Configuration window. Then go across to Interfaces, and we want to enable SPI, and then click OK. Next thing we want to do is now install the driver, or download it first. So we'll open a terminal window, and then we're going to say git clone https colon forward slash github dot com slash c s k a u slash python underscore s t seven seven three five and that will download the driver from the github that will clone it in the next thing we're going to do is install it before we do we need to change the directory to that download which is c d Python, and you just stop typing and hit tab and that will finish the rest of it for you. And now you can actually install it with by doing sudo python3 setuppy.py install. And we'll hit return and that will install. And it's installed all the drivers that's now ready to run our little screen. So let's get rid of the terminal window and we're going to run an example. So go back to the file manager and uh, in the file manager on the Py directory, you'll notice Python ST7735 directory. Open that up and in there you'll find examples, open the examples. And in there we're going to run a little Python script called Py, sorry, called shapes.py. Before we do that, just make sure that you have um, a Python editor, the one I use, which is very simple, it comes with Python, with the Raspberry Pi, is tiny Python ID, is dead simple, dead easy. And when you double click on the Python script, it will open tiny. So make sure you have that installed just out of easy use. Now, as it's um, opened up in tiny, we're going to, we could just hit run, but um, if we do, it's not going to quite work because this example's actually run for the larger uh, 160 by 128 SPI screens. We've got to do one or two little modifications. You'll notice at the, the top of the file there we have width and height. Um, the, the resolution of the little screen is 128 by 128, so let's change the height to 128. And the thing is that currently in this example, um, even though we've changed that, width and height aren't actually implemented yet. So we're going to go down to um, where the, set, the TFT is set up with display. And just after DC, we're going to enter um, width in small and lowercase equals capitals width, comma, hit return, height, 
equals capitals height, comma. And now we're ready to run. Let's see what this example does and let's look at the little screen down below. And there we have it. We've got a little um, half a rectangle and a, uh, an ellipse. And um, you'll find in this example here in shapes, there's lots of other bits of code you can try out here. With this is actually part of a much larger display designed for the 320 by um, 640 screen, um, or, the, or the bigger three and a half inch one. Um, but you'll find there's things like rotated text, line drawing. Um, you can try different fonts, polygons, line ellip uh, ellipses and rectangles and so on. So there's plenty to play around with and do your own little display for your whatever case you're going to be making, whatever you're doing. So um, And there we have it. So that there's, a, there's, um, a, there's, there's a great little project which takes just a couple of minutes. And as I say, these screens are very, very cheap, starting from £2.50. You might have to wait a little while if you get it from China. And I know there's also local um, eBayers who will sell a little bit more, but if you don't want to wait that long you you can um buy them from there anyway thank you for watching and i hope that was useful to you